Hello everybody. So, during the experiment we showed you that how we can identify these primary amine compounds using diazo coupling test and there we have showed you that we have taken aniline as an example and how the beautiful red azo dye is forming during the reactions and from there how we can confirm the primary amines in the reaction. So, here the reaction schemes and the mechanistic part that I will describe now that this is called diazo coupling test and the reaction above overview is that first if you take aniline in presence of sodium nitride aqueous solutions and hydrochloric acids it will form aryl diazonium salt under 0 to 5 degree centigrade and after that if we add this alkaline betanaphthol solution into this then we will get this azo dye red color azo dye. Now, what is actually happening during this reactions? That first this sodium nitride and hydrochloric acid will form the nitrous acid and once this nitrous acid will form that will actually produce this diazonium salt and in general it has been found that during the diazonic diazo coupling test the aryl diazonium salt is treated with an electron rich arenes and that will couple with this diazonium salt. If we go through the detailed mechanistic studies we found that first the sodium nitride and HCl will generate this nitrous acid and once this nitrous acid will form again that will be protonated in presence of hydrochloric acid and after water eliminations it will give this nitrosinium ion which will be stabilized by further resonance. Now, this nitrosonium ion is actually responsible for further reactions. So, aniline attack to this electrophile nitrosonium ion and give this N nitrosoamine and as this is a primary amine. So, there is another proton available for further reaction. So, further again protonation happens and water eliminations will give you this phenyl N double bond N hydroxyl compound which again will protonate it and as water is very good living group. So, this will give you the diazonium ion basically diazonium salt with chloride which is stable at 0 to 5 degree centigrade. So, what is happening here that sodium nitride and hydrochloric acid first produces this nitrous acid which actually producing this nitrosinium ion ion and once this formed this is stable and stable under 0 to 5 degree and we can use for further reactions. The interesting thing is that if we take here some alkyl amine the problem with that is that this diazonium ion with this alkyl part is not stable enough. So, they will decompose very fast whether this diazonium ion with this aryl group is stable enough to do for further reaction. Additionally this diazonium ion can be used for different kind of reactions especially we can use this one for as a electrophile and several different kind of reactions can be done with this. Another important aspect of this reactions if we take secondary amines secondary aryl amines then these reactions will be stopped at the nitrosoamine step because the unavailability of the another proton. Then the next step is that we have to take betanaphthol in sodium hydroxide so that it will generate this anion and once we have this then we can add this prepared diazonium salt into that. So, immediately the electron rich alkaline betanaphthol will attack to the electrophilic diazonium ion and once it will attack it will react like a electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So, the next step will be deprotonations from the sp 3 hybridized carbon and that will generate this aromatic ring again and this will give the azo compound which is colorful due to the extended conjugation and it can be used as organic dyes. So, this is a fantastic reaction and for understanding whether in your reaction this primary amine is there specially aryl amine is there or not via this nice red dye formation.
now I am going to show you that the very beautiful test that is this diazo coupling test for the aniline. I, by this test we can actually confirm different kind of aromatic amines and I will show you today for the confirmatory test of aniline. So, what we will do for that first we will take a test tube for the 5 milliliter test tube there we will take the organic sample here that is aniline for 3 to 4 drops once we took this sample organic sample that is aniline in the test tubes after that we will dissolve it in the aqueous hydrochloric acid to get a solution of aniline. If you see it is not initially dissolving well, but if you shake it after few times it will dissolve and give you a nice solution transparent solution. Now, this aniline in presence of HCl aqueous HCl it will give you this salt and that is give you this transparent solution and now it is ready for further reaction. So, what we will do now we have to do this diazotization followed by the coupling with alkaline beta naphthol to the to get the very nice dye red color dye. So, now what we will do that we will cool this one in 0 to 5 degree centigrade this is a very important aspect for this experiment because if we not continue this reaction in this temperature we will never get the nice red color dye because this diazonium salt is not stable above this particular temperature that is 0 to 5 degree. So, now we kept this aniline solution in HCl in the 0 to 5 degree. In the meantime we will take in another test tube the aqua sodium nitrite solution. for 8 to 10 drops and we will place that one also again in 0 to 5 degree. It is very important that all the reagents for this reaction has to be at the same 0 to 5 degree temperature. We need another reagent that is alkaline beta naphthol solutions we already prepared it and that is here. So, another 5 to 6 drops we will take that and we will again place in the 0 to 5 degree reaction bath and then we will wait for 5 minutes. So, that this get this 0 to 5 degree temperature and we will perform the experiment. Okay. So, now our all the reagents and the organic sample in hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid is ready for the next part of this reaction. So, for that now this is aqueous sodium nitrate solutions and we will add at 0 degree for this diazotization reaction this one to the organic sample in HCl. The important thing is that everything we have to carry 
at 0 to 5 degree. For that I have added this one in this ice bath. Now, our alkaline betanaphthol solution also ready and that is also came at 0 to 5 degree. Now, we will add that one to this alkaline betanaphthol and here is the nice red dye color that has formed and this is the confirmatory test for the anilines. This is forming this azo dye and that due to that one this is giving this red color. We will show you later by the equations what is actually forming and for that we will discuss in our different equations. Here what we did that first we have taken this organic sample that is aniline 4 to 5 drops we have dissolved it in aqueous hydrochloric acid and we keep it 0 to 5 degree. So, that all the reagents and other reactions should be at 0 to 5 degree. Then sodium nitrate solutions from the, from the same temperature we added to the organic sample. So, that it will get diotized and after that we have added it to the alkaline betanaphthol solutions that give you this red dye and this is the confirmatory test for aniline. Thank you.